The purpose of this tutorial is to show how to graph parabolas using the step method. And all of these examples, uh, I have the parabola written in vertex form. So it wouldn't be as convenient, but the step method can still be useful if you're using, if you're graphing with intercepts, for example, uh, the intercept form. Uh, standard form, it might help some, but maybe not so much, because often we just convert standard form to vertex form anyway, often. So uh, the first example here, uh, we're graphing y equals x plus 3 squared plus 2. So the first thing I want to do is write where the vertex is. So the vertex is h comma k. So now notice this is x plus 3. It's not x minus a number. So the vertex would be at negative 3 comma 2. So the first thing I'll do is plot where my vertex is. So negative 3 plus 2 would be right here. And so uh, what I've got in the graph here already, and I'll show how the step method works, is I've graphed, got the graph of y equals x squared. And I want to talk about, uh, actually I'm going to put up the steps here first. The step pattern is, uh, it's the odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, if you want to go that far. And what the 1, 3, 5, etc. means is that if you start at the vertex, if you go to the right one, you go up one to the next point on either side. So that's the up one. Now from there, if I go over to the right one, I go up three and I get to another point on the graph. And the same thing from this point right here, if I go over one, I'm going up three to the next point. And then from each of those, if I go over one, I go up five to the next point on either side. So this is the uh, up 1, up 3, up 5 in each case. 5, 3, 1. You're always going across over to the right 1 or left 1 every single time. So that's the 1, 3, 5. So let's, uh, I'm just going to move, well actually maybe we'll just leave that alone. So my, my vertex is at negative 3, 2. And actually I think I will move some of... Uh, these guys out of the way here. They're a little bit in the way. I'll leave the ones on the right side. So uh, now the a value is 1 here, so my steps are 1, 3, 5. I'll get in some other examples that it's, it's there's a multiplying, but we'll talk about that in a moment. So my vertex is here, so if I go right 1, I go up 1. And if I go left one, I also go up one. And then from each of those, if we go over to, uh, well, in this case, the right, I go up three. And from this one to the uh, left one, I'll go up three. And then I'll do the five. So over one, one, two, three, four, five would be right there. And of course, this one would be the same height, whoops, over here. Okay, so you can kind of see the parabola. Now, I actually already drew one. I have it sort of hidden off the the page here. So I'm going to grab that guy. So if I grab that and bring it over here, it goes nicely through those points. So that's about what that problem would look like. So that's the graph of y equals x plus 3 squared plus 2 would look like. So uh, next one here, um, the let's change my color to green here. So we're graphing y equals 2x minus 4 squared minus 5. So in this case, the vertex would be at 4, comma, negative 5. So we'll go over to 4 and then down 5. So that, there's the vertex right there. Now, in this case, the, uh, the a value is 2. And so that's a vertical stretch of factor 2 so this parabola the steps are twice as big because the a the a value is 2 so instead of 1 3 and 5 i multiply all those by 2 so this is what my steps will be uh, so 1 times 2 is 2 uh, the 3 times 2 is 6 and 5 times 2 is 10. Now, once you get into stretches, sometimes your graph might, be, might not be big enough to do like the, the 10 or the next one. So, um, so, so we'll go up two on either side. 
and then up six so over one one two three four five six and here over one one two three four five so six would be right there uh, I don't know if I can actually get up ten one two three four five six seven eight nine I guess I could have but I'm not going to worry about doing that one so here's uh, this graph so I already stretched it so it would fit fairly nicely through the points so that's pretty much what uh, y equals 2 x minus 4 squared minus 5 would look like now you could um, sketch those in, in Desmos just to check here. So I'm going to upload this image. So there's my uh, Desmos graph. And of course, you can see that's the uh, the red one here is the black one I graphed first. And the blue one is the green one here. So just checking, uh, just you can verify that that is correct. So let's go take a look at uh, two more examples on this uh, second tab here. So um, so y equals negative 2x plus 5 squared plus 8. So for this one, the a value is negative 2. So that 1, 3, 5 gets multiplied by negative 2. So 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Uh, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And 5 times 2 is negative 10. So it's now it's x plus 5 squared there. So the vertex would be at negative 5, comma, and it would be positive 8. So negative 5, that's 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's my vertex. So I'm going to go right, left, right 1 and left 1 from the vertex and go down 2 on either side. So down 2 down 2, and then it'll go to down 6, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, we found the intercepts. Down 6. And again, I could go down to 10, but that is sufficient to graph that one. So that's what y equals negative 2 x plus 5 squared plus 8 would look like. And so uh, last one here. Uh, so in this case, there's just a negative here. So that means that the a value is negative 1. So the 1, 3, 5 all gets multiplied by negative 1. So it would be negative 1, and then negative 3, and then negative 5. And so let's identify where the vertex is. So it's x minus 2, so the x-coordinate is 2, and positive 1. So 2, 1 would be right there. So so my steps are negative 1 first, so we go left 1, down 1. Oh, found the intercepts again, and same with the right 1 and down 1. Uh, down, then down 3, so 1, 2, 3, and the same on this side, has to be the same height. And then down 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the same height over here. And I've already fit this one to go through the points. So, oh, it needs to be stretched just a little bit. Uh, pretty much like that. So that's what y equals negative x minus 2 squared plus 1 would look like. And let me upload a Desmos image of that again. So there's my Desmos. Uh, this orange one is that orange one, and the blue one is the red one here. So just check, you know, using Desmos that those are done correctly. But that's how you graph using the step method. Um, in each case, you're multiplying the uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, etc. numbers by the A value. And so that gives you the steps on either side to uh, plot some points so you can draw the parabola fairly accurately and fairly quickly. And that's the end of the tutorial.